Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the Save the Saga series. Um, got the game paused right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Uh, I made all the plants invisible for a second. Okay, Julie's is now pregnant, that was very fast. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on. Definitely wanna get some stuff accomplished in this episode. So, I did name actually all three of those female calves from the previous episode. I think I'm just gonna keep all of them. So we got Cinnabon, which I thought that name was kind of funny. Harmony and Ashley are those three. Once again, thank you very much for all the name suggestions. Those were very helpful. And I have a ton of names now. I might even have enough for the rest of the series, to be honest. But of course, you can still um, leave your suggestions. And I will continue to use them. Uh, what I'm going to do in this episode, actually, is I'm going to get this area ready for the next um, for dividing the herd, so we're gonna go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna do a little bit of construction on screen. I might do some skips just if I feel like certain parts getting boring. So let's jump into this. Um, let's start with like landscaping. That's the first part. So I want to do a raised area in the middle. Probably not raised quite that high though. Smooth this out. And what I want to do is I want to do a waterfall. So we want to go to temperate, or not temperate, yeah, temperate grassland. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Some water up there. I'm going to have the water kind of come over here. Can I get a waterfall in this area? Let's see. Oh yeah, that wasn't that hard. Uh, that'll work. Probably want to make this water just a little bit bigger up here. Okay. Um, now I want to do rocks. And I want... as well. Probably not that. Or that. Yeah, something like this is good. Okay, now let's go ahead before we continue, let's make sure Okay, here, so who is pregnant anyways? Um, Niyama, Sala, Genesis, Jules, and Dorothy. Okay, so we're gonna have to move them pretty soon. Particularly, okay, actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's take. put Genesis in the wrong spot. Oops. She should be in here. Maya is now pregnant. Okay. Cinnabon has grown from a young to an adult. 
Who else is close? Dorothy's pretty close. Put that there and there. Oh, let's find Maya. Her new mate is Daniel. I don't know if that was who it was before. No, Caleb. That's who it was before. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back into building here. Violet is now pregnant as well. So this population is just uh, going very, very well. Definitely flourishing. It's good to see. Probably put a couple more rocks around. Something like this, maybe. It's not going through the wall, is it? Um, nope. Good. Um, then I want to put some food around. So I'll put some of these. And some water troughs. And other than that, uh, I'll put one of these. Anything else that we need? Can put a couple of these. Wouldn't hurt. One, two, three. Okay. So really now I just need to add the plants. So let's go ahead and turn those back on. Fine, then we'll have to just do this. Let's see here. I have to add a lot of grass. So, I can do that. This is probably the part that I'm going to skip because it's going to take a little while. Alright, guys, so we have two new calves from Sala and Genesis, which, no surprise, are both females as well. So I'm going to probably release these two. Um, so we'll sort of keep them. Well, we should release them back into the herd. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me actually pause this while I'm doing it. Um, so. Niyama into here and Maya into there. Who else? Shieldies and shieldies. Put her in there as well. Dorothy, I think, is already in there. Yep. Violet needs to go in there. Allison still has a while. Then I can take Sala out. And who was the other one? Oh, Genesis. Take her out as well. Okay. And then, as you guys can see over here, I did finish this area. So we're going to divide the herd today. Um, I think this looks pretty good. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to divide it yet. We're going to do that. Um, first, let's go ahead and just unpause this. Um, let's see. Let's look at... I want to find out where... Um, how many of these are grown up? So Ashley is still baby. Harmony. Still a baby, it looks like. Um we're looking for uh Cinnabon. What's she doing? Yeah, I was going to give birth. Okay. 
filter is gonna give us. Let's go ahead over, let's go ahead over there. Let's see if I remember how to get in there. Who is this? This must be one of them. I don't know. <laughs> and I think I have quite a few of them in here. There's a squirrel. Doesn't belong here. That's Violet right there. Who you are? I don't know. Make sure all, everything is filled up. Now we just wait. That's Dorothy. That's Niyama. That's Jewelry. So those are the two uh, who are about to give birth. And we have Maya and Violet over here. Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure how I want to divide this herd up yet. It's getting a little bit large, the sheer amount that we have in here. So I think I will hire another zookeeper. I'm going to put two zookeepers, and I'm going to assign them here. That should help. Okay. Let's take the roof down for a second. Okay, both of them just gave birth, and this is the new calf who is a. I don't want to do that. It is a another female. Wow. Okay, and I just saw the other one. Brianna is now pregnant as well. Man, um, where did the other one go? I just literally saw it. Must be down here someplace. Uh, here it is. It's another female. Yeah. Like, I'm not getting any males at all. I guess we don't really need them. Um, let's see, let's find Daniel. So, mate, Maya, Shall Brianna, Dorothy, Rourke, Allison. So, I got 25. That's one, two, three, four, five children already. Wow. Dorothy's going to give birth. Let's find the other. Uh, Ashton was the other one I wanted to find. So, meet Rose and Dorothy. Uh, children, Julie's, Chiron, Harmony. Okay, but I've probably released some of their children to the wild as well. So, uh, Dorothy's going to give birth. And I think I'm going to now divide up the herd and decide how I'm going to do that, so, um, let's get rid of the grass so I can make this easier, I'm going to take this Maya, I'll wait till she gives birth and then I can move her, this is Dorothy, okay, I know I want Niyama in here. So I get 28. I feel like I should have a. Some people suggest that I should have a separate container unit or containment place, you know, like an uh, exhibit or whatever, just for the ones that are going to be released into the wild. And I'm kind of liking that idea. Um, I might just keep them in here as well, probably do for now. So it makes it easier for me to have, have to go and find them. So I think I'll do that. Um, let's find everybody. This is Dorothy. Maya. Is that the only ones I have in here is Maya and Dorothy? Not sure. Let's start moving some over there. Let's move Caleb over there. I'll leave Niyama here. Allison can go over there. 
Ashley can go over there. Sala can go over there. Harmony, yeah, you can go over there. A male or female? Another female. Alright, let's just keep this one and I'll find a name. Let's go with. Let's go with. single one okay so they're all going to stay but even so that's gonna be one two three four five and release into the well and I'll keep Willow uh, so that'll work so I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this one guys I got the two areas um, I got this area finished and I got the herd split up um, we got five calves that are ready to be released into the wild which is excellent and yeah that's looking pretty good so making some progress I didn't actually release any into the wild in this one but we definitely will in the next episode so we can look forward to that violet is it going to get birth i don't even know where violet is where is violet Let's go ahead and wait until she does this, and then we can end the episode. Saga 31 is another female. So we actually have six that we're going to release into the wild. We put her in this new exhibit as well. So six calves to release into the wild in the next one. So that will be something to look forward to. And I will see you guys all then. So thank you very much for watching. Do make sure you, you check out the link in the description on more information on Saiga conservation and what you can do to help out. And I will see you all in the next one.